Oklahoma State just became a certified B campus. Let's see what the buzz is about today on Inside OSU. We wanted to recognize how OSU is very passionate about pollinators and pollinator research and so we found this program called Bee Campus USA that recognizes campuses across the nation for all of their work. What qualifications needed to be met in order to earn that certification? So the first qualification was really that um, we had like an integrative pest management solution um, which is called an IPM. The university actually already basically had that in set um, and you basically limit the amount of pesticides that you spray on any type of plants that you have on campus. So we needed to have um, a commitment to having native gardens, a native uh, garden region, which we already have. We have the native plant corridor um, behind the library. How does the landscaping help bees on campus? So it's really important to provide habitat for bees. We have over 3,000 native bees and they all have different habitat needs. They have all different flowers that they need to nectar from. Honeybees are one of the most common species you'll see around, but actually they're not native. So um, when I'm talking about native bees, I mean basically anything that's not a honeybee. Um, so we have bumblebees, carpenter bees, uh, sweat bees are really tiny. So we're gonna go find some bees. Looks like there's a lot in this plant right up here. What are we looking for exactly in trying to identify the different species? I would say the first thing to look at is probably the size. So, um, and also the way they're kind of flying around. So the larger bees that we can see here um, flying around that have pollen on the side of their legs, those are all bumblebees. Okay, and so then- the one right in there, right? Yep, yes. Look yes. at me identifying bees. <laughs> and then a lot of these smaller bees we also see flying around are mostly all honeybees. This very tiny bee right there. I don't know if you can see it right Oh, here. that's so tiny. That's a bee? That's a sweat bee. Oh my gosh. So what's a sweat bee do? Do they pollinate as well? Um, so they do pollinate some. They actually will tend to land on people if you're pretty sweaty. Um, they actually do land on you, hence their name, and they will take some sweat from you. Um, but yeah, they're also out doing the same thing. They're collecting nectar and pollen from plants. They're just a different size. There are a lot of people who are afraid of bees and would be terrified to walk through the botanical garden. What is your message to those people? So the bees have, one, well, they've already been here. Like they've been there your, your whole life. They've, they didn't just show up one day. And they're also not out to get you. They're just trying to find pollen or nectar. Um, and you're just kind of a big object in their way. They're trying to buzz around. I'm a walking flower pot today. Should I be concerned? <laughs> um, so bees are attracted to certain colors. Um, that's been shown in some studies, but normally they will not continue to follow something because flowers don't typically move like that. Can you guys tell the difference between the male and females right now? Like, could you point a male out or is it, are we not close enough to get that? Um, so all of these ones that you see flying around that have pollen packed on their leg are definitely females. So um, stay away. <laughs> yeah, so if they have the pollen packed on their legs, they're um, always females. Males can't do that. They actually are missing the indent on their leg to pack the pollen on. What does this certification mean for Oklahoma State? I think um, it just shows how committed we are to the environment, to helping pollinators, to our research, and to recognizing all of the work that our landscape crew does, our entomology department does, and all of the undergrads who work in like the Bee Club, who work with the Entomology Sanborn Club, all of these great groups just around campus. And it's something that really encourages not just the students, but outside of the university to be interested. Um, people will come to campus, they'll see the signage, they'll see all that we've been doing, and I think it'll really help bring native pollinators to the forefront for Oklahoma.